Okay. Uh, my last experiment was a failure because I was getting a leak around the electrodes right here. And uh, I tried putting a little silicone um, plumber silicone grease on it and uh, that didn't do the job. Well, a little bit of looking, this neoprene washer is a failure. So we're going to replace it with this high temp RTV silicone gasket maker and it's a pretty easy swap out. I just need to get this nut off and the two washers, put a little of this on and then put it back. Now part of the problem that I encountered was in order to get the electrode tight it deforms the neoprene washer and I think that's why it leaks. Well I won't have that problem with this gasket maker. So now that those are off just real quickly make sure I got any foreign particles or debris or even plumber silicon grease off of there and then take just a little dab of this that should probably be enough and just like you put just enough to go all the way around Except I got a big old finger here, a little hard to get in the back side. There. And don't worry too much about making a mess because this stuff wipes off. So now we take the washer. Remember, this guy is gone. See ya. Slide that in there. Clean up the nut. Get it all screwed on. Tighten it down. And since I don't have that neoprene washer in there affecting my affecting how tight I can get it. I can get it pretty tight now. Well, since I have a camera that likes to turn off on me, what I've done in the meantime is I put silicon gasket sealer around the bolt so that it, there's gasket sealer on the bolt and on the cap at the same time. Then I put the washer and the nut on and tighten it down and that's my technical change to the Smax booster test cap. So neoprene washers, they look good, they sound good, they don't perform.